So Jaitapur got stalled for a really long time because obviously one there was opposition from locals uh, to giving their land for a nuclear project, environmental concerns. And uh, but most importantly, in Maharashtra, there wasn't much political interest in allowing the project to go forward. The Shiv Sena was uh, strongly opposing it. Largely, in your uh, experience, in your opinion, uh, is that a an issue for nuclear projects? Is you know political uh, interest is that low? Well, I uh, I would say that uh, that matter is largely behind us now. To your question, whether the issue has vanished, I, I won't say. And not issue particularly has. with regards to Jaitapur, but is uh, is political interest in a nuclear project See, generally an is, issue? Uh, uh, general, in general terms, uh, any big project where there are large investments, uh, there will be issues because uh, ultimately these large projects they create benefit to the nation as a whole. But uh, the issues are related to the people who live there. So, you know, there is that not in my backyard syndrome. Right. So, it is this kind of, it affects people in, in, in many, many ways. Uh, one of the most interesting way to figure that out is uh, my land will get acquired. Now, uh, so some people, they look at it, land will get acquired and the land is not productive at all, as is the case in Jaitapur. Uh, they are actually happy because people have collected money. But there are people on the fringe whose land is not acquired for the project. So they are unhappy. <laughs> so they'd rather that their land was acquired and they got the money. Yeah. Thing. So now they don't say it like that. Right. But you know, it comes out in different forms. There is another thing, for example, uh, uh, this land acquisition, it's a kind of a compensation. Now, uh, all power plants are on a coastline. So there is agricultural community and there is a fishermen's community. Now, fishermen's community, you don't acquire anything in Technically, you don't affect anything. That activity can go on and for that matter, little warm water actually leads to higher production of fish. But they say, what is it uh, in it for us? All these people are getting compensation. We don't get anything. The radiation affects us also. So, you, so all I'm saying is there are many, many factors. There are also uh, if there are people who are doing, engaged in other activities in the neighborhood, uh, there are perceptional issues and the prices of land go up, go down. So, this is true with any big project. But sir, nuclear projects, there is also an apprehension about radiation. Everybody is afraid of radiation and leakage. No, no, that is, uh, that is true. But uh, it is, uh, I would say, largely misplaced. And this happens really because uh, the, you know, mankind's first exposure to nuclear came about by Hiroshima, the, Hiroshima, <laughs> Nagasaki bombing. So it is there very deep in our psyche. But uh, and, more, then, and then, sir, Chernobyl. Then there is Chernobyl uh, or Fukushima. Right. Now. At such location, again it causes trauma because you resort to large-scale evacuation of people, displacement on a sudden, you know, kind of distress migration which took place post-pandemic lockdown. It creates a trauma. Similarly, you say now there is a, something is happening at the power plant, so all of you run, forget about it. So it creates a trauma and nobody likes it. Now, uh, nuclear technology has been called, you know, all technologies are constantly learning technologies. So, if you ask me, today the nuclear technology is a vast improvement over the technology which went in uh, Chernobyl or Fukushima reactors. If you ask me whether uh, no accident will take place, now, 
I think nobody can say that if there is a machinery, something will go wrong. Right. If you ask me that, uh, now I'm talking about the evolved design, that can we design a reactor in a manner that even if there is an accident, there will be no offset impact? The answer is yes. I see. This answer would, could not have given maybe 20 years ago. But today... So now technology has evolved to a level where we can say that even God forbid there is an accident with the nuclear reactor, radiation will not escape. Yeah, it, 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 will, it will not go beyond the plant boundary. Beyond the plant boundary. It is not affect public. Right. So, uh, but I think it will take time for that fear to vanish from minds of people. And that is a matter of familiarity. So, if the country, there are countries who do not like nuclear power, they are not installed. And the public mindset probably will remain like this. Like Germany had nuclear power, now they've shut it down, and now they are dealing with this <laughs> Russian stress. Yes, and that although it arose because of the Fukushima sentiments. Right. And in Japan, they have retained nuclear as an option as a part of their long-term energy policy. And they are not shutting down anything. They are not shutting down. Now, the fear in the minds of public in Japan, if you say it's not there, it is there. So, but uh, as a, that's a collective decision. So, uh, and it will take time. All I'm trying to say is, uh, uh, as a scientist, I can say this is unfounded fear. But uh, as a person of the society, I would say there is reason for that and uh, it right. will take time.